in this video i want to show you five things every woman must have in their apartment i don't know as you're a woman you must have those five things in your house you definitely want to watch this video to the end hey loves Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Fola, Fola Shadawala. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. The first thing I want us to talk about is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil. As a woman, we all know that, especially those of us with um, oily or combination skin, we are prone to acne. So you should have this in your house, whether you are a skincare enthusiast or not, because we can have breakouts from doing the barest minimum. You know, you can actually have breakout from maybe eating chocolate or hormonal breakouts, hormonal acne and all. Tea tree oil is like, I don't know, it's like to answer to, to everybody's prayers. If you notice that you have a new pimple coming up, you know, before you, before you actually get big, all you, all you have to do is take a drop, you know, take a drop on your hand and like put it on the acne. You know, use it like that for three days and... The good news it is going to dry honestly if you can avoid picking it or popping the pimple you know just leave the tea tree oil on it especially when you want to sleep at night just leave it on it on everywhere you have new fresh acne and that's it you see why you should have it. and it is not expensive i don't know it is a thousand naira. like the five things i really want to mention in this video are in this video all of them are very very cheap and affordable this is a thousand error and you definitely should have it. You can get it from people that sell organic skincare products or even in supermarkets that you, you are sure that they sell original. The second thing I want us to talk about is this thing. I don't know what it's called, but you know, I got it in the supermarket. I think it's about 700 naira. It's used to remove wool from your dress or from your sweater or anything. This is it. So if you have any dress that you notice you want to wear a dress and you see that it's already it's already removing wool you can like just do it like this like yeah it has gum it has glue on it see it has glue so when you like rub it just lay the clothes flat and rub it on the wool that you want to remove and like, just put it like this and remove it it, re it removes the wool effortlessly and then you just all you have to do is tear off that part and return it to Keep it here so that it doesn't the glue doesn't waste, and that's it. Go out looking all radiant without your wool embarrassing you. The third thing I want us to talk about as a woman is nail polish dissolver. I mean, I mean, right now I'm not. I don't have any nails. I don't have my nails done. You know, but most times you have your nails done or your toenails, even if you're not, you, your, your nails are not done, your toenails are most likely painted and it's not nice for you to be going around with chipped toenails, chipped cortex or anything. It doesn't, it makes you look tacky, it doesn't, you know, put you in that good light you're supposed to be. So having this at home and it's about 150 naira or 200 naira, you know, and I want to believe everybody has a cotton wool at home, just use it, remove the... Cortex. It's better for you not to have any cortex on your toe on your toes at all than go around with chipped cortex. So you know, just buy it, and when you notice that your toenails, your cortex are already breaking out or you know ruined, just clean it. And if you have new cortex at home, if you have fresh ones at home, use it. And if you don't have, till so you go for your next pedicure, manicure and pedicure. You at least you are not going around with stupid and ugly looking toes. You feel me? So the fourth thing I feel like everybody should have at home is face moisturizer. This particular one is only complete lightweight day lotion. That's SPF 15. It is good for you to have a face moisturizer. Some people use their body cream on their face. Sis, please, you can't be doing that. You can't use your body cream on your face. It is your skin, your the skin on your face is quite fragile. That the chemical that you're using you on your skin or whatever contains your your cream as should not even get to your face at all. So, and if you are going out in the morning, you can try to use whatever for your face in the evening. But your moisturizer should always be part of whether you're wearing makeup or not. You should always wear your moisturizer, especially if, if it has SPF. And if it doesn't have SPF, if your moisturizer doesn't have sunscreen, you should get sunscreen. And use it but me because this one has SPF 15 and I, I don't have a sunscreen I'm not supposed to have a sunscreen but I do not have any sunscreen at all but this has SPF 15 and I don't really enter the Sun like that 
I don't really enter the sun. I must from home I go to work and then I leave work when the sun has stopped shining, you know, and back home. It's not I don't really really expose my skin to the sun, but nonetheless I'm still going to get sunscreen to like because I cannot be too careful. But you should have you don't necessarily have to get this. You can get other moisturizers, other face moisturizers. This particular one is about six thousand naira and I think I got it um september october last year october last year and look at it i got it october last year and see it i've never used half of it it's, it's really good and the last thing you should have at home as a woman is body scrub this particular one is i shan't say body scrub in tamarind if you're even if you're not if you're not all that about your skin if you are not one of us that are very particular you know all the skincare enthusiasts you want your skin to be all glowy and all that you should have um body scrub at home to exfoliate your skin to like get rid of the dark dead skin cells so that your skin can come come out looking you know fine and all glowing and all fine your skin sheds off dead skin cells every 28 days but you really want to help your skin with the with the job of shedding of dead skin you really want to exfoliate your skin at least twice in a week so that whatever you are using on your skin if you are the type that is very particular about your skin and using product on your skin whatever you are using on your skin actually works or even if you are not exactly using any product but you want to really really leave your skin looking beautiful and flawless you don't i bought this one for two thousand naira and it was one five before, but things got expensive. I got it for two thousand right now. You really don't have to buy it. You can actually do sugar scrub. You can do coffee scrub. You can like do sugar and uh, sugar onion, maybe a few drops of lemon oil, and you are good to go. You can do coffee. You can do you know a lot. There are a lot of um, scrub recipes. I'm um, exfoliating scrub recipes on YouTube. If you don't want to actually buy, if you want to make yourself, there's a lot of recipes on on YouTube that you can follow and just make your skin look fine these things are basics i believe if you feel like you don't have any if you don't have any of these things at home i strongly recommend because it will basically make your life easier and make you know it's their feminine they kind of portray and exude femininity if that makes any sense so if you have anything that you really use at home and you think we should have please drop it in the comment section down below we can all learn from one another and Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's the notification bell. If you are already subscribed, it's the notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Meanwhile, do you like my new contact lens? Do you like it? Yeah, I made a video on how I used it. Please um, watch that video if you have not watched it. I will link it somewhere in the cards below. I will see you in my next video. Bye.